Hi, Brent Chatterton from Chatterton Builders. I just wanted to run you through the advantages of building with a certified passive house in our show home here. There are uh, high levels of comfort and uh, longevity of the building due to the moisture and uh, mould free home due to the mechanical heat ventilation giving constant fresh air into the home because this construction is scientifically based and assessed to measure the uh, performance of the home. Come on inside and we'll uh, have a look and run through the five principles of Passive House and I'll show you through. Yeah, hi, here we are uh, talking about the insulation, uh, which is one of the principles of Passive House. Uh, this house is built with a SIPS panel, so that's a sample here of a structurally insulated panel. Uh, in the wall here, we've got a 165 millimeter SIPS panel, which gives us an R value of 4.4. On top of that, we've also got another, you see the SIPS panel in the back there? We've also got another 50 mil of insulation, and I'll talk about the thermal bridging and what that's for later on, but that also gives us another R value of one to give us a total of R5.4. So that was the walls. Uh, so in the ceiling we've got the same uh, thing. We've got a SIPS panel that's 265 mil thick. So that gives us an R value of 7.2. On top of that SIPS panel we've got a 100 mil services cavity, which is also insulated, which gives us another R2.2, giving us a total of 9.4 as an R value in the ceilings. So the second thing we're talking about here is um, air tightness. So air tightness is absolutely critical in a certified passive house. Um, obviously the, it has to reach a certain air tightness level testing with our blower door machine. Um, so I've just got an example here that I'd like to show you. Where a corner of a SIPS panel joins, we've got uh, a little bit of an Intello wrap, which is an airtight membrane, which wraps around the corner and is taped onto the SIPS to make that whole corner continuously airtight. So one of the major importances of uh, air tightness is uh, to keep the MHRV system uh, efficient and make sure it runs well and keeps that heating and cooling in the, inside the home to maintain that temperature. So it's just as important the air tightness as the insulation. So the third topic we're talking about today is the high performing uh, UPVC windows we've got here. Um, they're triple glazed and they're tilt and turn which are inward opening uh, windows and doors. I've just got a door here but all the windows and doors are all exactly the same. Um, quite a cool mechanism, first lock means the door opens and we can use it as a door or go out of it. The third position that goes into is it tilts and this means that we can uh, leave it open if we do need to use some just normal ventilation into the home. So these windows and doors are extremely airtight and extremely uh, high insulation that is being triple glazed and UPVC. So here we are, this is the fourth uh, topic in our, in our passive house to go through. Um, this is the real uh, crux of the house, this is the Zender MHRV ventilation system, it's a Q450 machine. Uh, really, really impressive piece of kit this, and it, it basically uh, provides all the fresh air to the home and taking away all the stale air. Uh, so therefore it's able to reduce the humidity in the home and dries it out and then this also leads to moulds and allergens also being uh, filtered through the filter system. Really cool bit of kit, um, this, every single room has a uh, duct either coming out of the wet areas and a, and a supply air going into the bedrooms and living rooms. One of the other advantages of the uh, MHRV system here is that it uh, has a 95% uh, efficiency at taking the warm air out, warm stale air outside and transferring that heat across to the fresh cold air coming in and uh, not losing too much heat as it comes back into the home. Just one of the other advantages of the uh, MHRV system, I'm just showing you here where all the ducting is going through the ceiling and the 100mm um, services cavity just below the SIPS panels. We've also got an air uh, supply vent here in the lounge. Um, if you're wondering why it's at a long like that, it just stays like that till it's jibbed. It's then cut off at the jib height and then we put a nice uh, white grill over the top of it.
So the fifth and final um, topic we're talking about of Harris Passive House is thermal bridging. Um, got a really good example up here on the ceiling um, where you can see the black tape going through the SIPS panels. Um, up there there's a, a 240 by 90 piece of timber rafter running all the way up that wall and that's deemed what they call a thermal bridge um, and so that, that's the reason why we've got the insulation in the 100mm cavity below the SIPS panel is to insulate that timber rafter going up there and stop any heat loss going through that uh, timber rafter.